This is KFC. Hello, KFC. OK， 我们等一下Hello, everyone. Hi, Chelsea. So this is uh, Miss Shen and I'm Eileen, the interpreter. <laughs> Just in case uh, there's uh, any question, I will help to answer also. Okay, during the group. So today we are going to do a so today we will do a demonstration on how to trim a drop coated uh, Shih Tzu. Because我们收到有很多的兴趣,就是大家都很想要看Shih Okay, so because we have many requests on uh, how to trim the drop coated fur, especially like Shih Tzu, Maltese, so today we are doing a live demonstration uh, based on the uh, response from you all. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we start. Mm. Can I, can I see, see? Okay, we can start. So the body has already been trimmed. Okay, so today we will only focus on the head. Yes, you can see. Come down and buy that. So our model dog today is KFC. Okay, so first, my first step is to remove the lace first. Okay, first we have to trim uh, near the eyes. Okay. Especially the light color dogs, they have the tear stain, so we will trim that off first. Mm. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, I see. Okay, so yeah, I'll take that one. And hold. So we can go down. So we will come downwards, okay, to the front, and then we will use the uh, chunkers, okay. In this case, uh, this is the curved chunkers. 
You can also use the, the straight ones, which are the junkers, okay? It not doesn't necessarily need to be the curved ones. Okay, but the curved ones will make uh, easier for the groomer. Yeah, make your life easier. <laughs> hey, FC, why? Okay, FC is a bit excited. So we will trim off this area, okay, so that we can open up the eyes. Okay, flip, try, try to flip the okay. ear backwards, <laughs> but uh, in this it's case, okay, okay. uh, KFC's ear is not responding to the backward flip. <laughs> Okay, uh, this uh, we will do the frame, okay? Mm. We'll trim off the the bottom bottom side, okay? Outline. The okay. outline. Yes. We do the outline, the frame first. Mm, the shape that we want that is suited for the dog. Okay, let's see. Is it okay, Mama? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's So, as mentioned, this is the curve uh, trunkers. Okay, her dog will pay her. <laughs> the ears are not uh, cooperating. <laughs> So usually, if possible, you flip the ear backwards. That only you uh, trim the sides. Okay. So you grab the ear up. Okay. Then you trim off that excess hair. Okay. So that uh, you have a connecting line to the back of the head. Okay, now white, that white part outline I already cut now. So this mm, I will cut it down. Okay, so uh, the outline has been done. So we will round up, round the the edges. Okay, so that you have a smooth finish. All right, Chelsea. Chelsea says, "Love your videos. First time caught a live." <laughs> Thank you. But uh, remember to uh, click subscribe and the notification button also so that you can get all the updates. Okay, so today is a very simple demo. I use a simple way to explain to everyone how to do it. So today's demo is a very uh, simple demo in how to trim a uh, this uh, type of code, okay, the simplest way. Hey, KFC, hey, Hamin. KFC. Okay, so we just uh, smooth out the edges, okay, get a round shape. But I believe that I'm sure that everyone will have the same difficulties in uh, trimming the Shih Tzu. They will always like to move around, especially when you start trimming the lower jaw area, okay, the muzzle. <laughs> they like to pull backwards. <laughs> Okay. They are quite sensitive uh, when whenever we trim the face. Uh. Mm. So uh, right now we try to get the nice finishing. Okay, We are doing the the trimming for the lower lower jawline. Okay. And then we will move on to the muzzle later. Mm. Okay. Mm. 
我会先把，因为他们的毛这里会下垂嘛，对不对？嗯、mm, ，So this, ah,、uh, this fur, this area, usually it will like, ah,、uh, drop down. Okay, it is not standing like a poodle. Yeah, just never but never mind. 我们就是轻舒就好。嗯 ，But it's okay. You just fluff up、mm. gently, and it will try to have the natural ah、uh, placement of the fur. Hmm. Okay, and then we、we'll、try to shape, shape it. <laughs> This ah、uh, KFC is not not feeling well. <laughs> okay, then you make the trim. Having the junkers is a、uh, very ah、uh, good. Okay. Okay, the chunkers is very good for this type of coat. Okay. Yeah, make guys, please make your life easy. Go get a chunker. Okay, chunkers <laughs> with curve will be the best. If you couldn't get the curve ones, ah,、uh, the straight ones are all right too. Okay, just work with what you have. By the way, this is my new chunker. <laughs> It's a new chunkers. Ah,、uh, she bought it from Ah、uh, AliExpress. I found it. Ah, so guys, you can see got the shape already. Okay. Then, in the shoe, will it will it not be visible? It's black, and then this is black. You can see. You can see. Okay, so you comb lightly, okay, and then you do the trimming again, okay. Fluff up. This way, you don't need to hold it. Hold it. Okay. So here, here, I cut off the one I want. Then, my blade usually will be long. 我的剪刀通常我会用这个角度，然后去呃、uh, trim 它，给它自然一点。嗯、mm, ，so you will place your scissors in this way， and then you will are、uh, pointing downwards， then you trim out the the ear set near the ear set。Okay， then you will have the shape。Okay, see. Okay, see. See. Okay. It's ah better to ah let the dog sit down so that you have a better angle of the of the head. Hmm. Okay. So that you get a natural look from the ear to the to the top knot. Okay. Can observe how ah、uh, teacher is trimming. Okay, how she plays the scissors. So if you are right hander, you just do the opposite. We, 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 The the hair strand, okay. You just follow where. If it's like this, okay, straight down. Then your your scissors will be straight down too. Okay. This way, you won't. You follow the position of the hair growth. You won't have the zigzag lines if you follow where the hair growth. You won't have the zigzag lines if you follow where the hair growth. Okay. You follow the hair growth, and you won't get the zigzag lines, the choppy lines. Okay, so like this, you will have a more natural look. Never trim a vertical, ah, a horizontal. Sorry, never trim horizontal. So always follow the hair growth.
。OK， 所以现在大概看到有一个时我们的我们要了吗？可是还是很乱，对不对？所以现在我们在修整齐。So we have already gotten the shape. So we'll just uh do some finishing touches so that it looks nicer, smoother. <laughs> so shih tzus, they are very sensitive. Okay. Especially if your scissors are near their ears. Never mind. We do it slowly. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Okay. Okay. Okay, with the thinning shears. Okay, we'll trim off uh, the lashes near the eyes and also the tear stains. Okay. Hair in the ear tickles, <laughs> Natasha comments. <laughs> you see the shisu is ticklish. <laughs> That's why I don't want you to don't want to stay put. <laughs> Okay, those are the stains. Okay, the stain area, uh, we will comb, fluff it out. Okay, fluff mm. outwards. Okay, FC. FC. <laughs> Okay, so I trim off with the tiny shears. Okay, it's to clean off that area. <laughs> then you lift up the lips. <laughs> Okay. Normally KFC is quiet. Uh, no. Normally KFC is very a uh, good boy, <laughs> but today he is so excited that everyone is watching him live from all over the world. <laughs> so we have our Chinese New Year decorations up because we will celebrate that uh, holiday. In a week's time, <laughs> so with the curve scissors, you trim off the the area near the lips. Okay, always be careful in this area. Do not blink your eyes. Okay. <laughs> I hope the lighting is all right. Mm, you will use the the straight shears, okay, to to do the finishing. Okay. Hi Natasha from US. Hey, 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 hello, 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 the bottom part <laughs> okay we will just round make it uh, make the shape okay <laughs> it's too excited maybe maybe hot 
guys. Adjust my aircon. <laughs> But while grooming, we must always uh, keep cool, okay, because the dog will always uh, sense your excitement and all that. <laughs> so, just keep cool. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to put it Okay, can I see? <laughs> okay. 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 So we will round the area with the straight shears. Okay. 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 All right, just now uh, after we have used the chunkers. Right now to do a nice finishing, you lightly use the straight shears, okay, to trim out all the excess, okay. Just run, run it with your straights. off all the stains okay as much as possible yeah. for a more cleaner look hey can you see what happened <laughs> Okay, we will move on to the next uh, side. This is almost done. Now. Mm, it's almost done. But the next one will still need to We will do the the last touch up. Okay, yes, after so. we have uh, done the other side. So this one will be the same. I will put it on the side. Okay. Okay, so we will comb out, fluff it up gently. Okay. So that it falls uh, naturally into position and then you will shape it with your chunkers. Okay, take note of the position of the shears. Okay, it's pointing downwards. Okay, fluff up again. Okay, 
<laughs> Did you say no step for KFC? <laughs> Because he naughty boy. <laughs> Okay, so you grab hold of the ears and then we will trim off the excess fur. Okay, do the connecting line to okay to the to the neck. Okay, comb up. Okay, you fluff up again and do the trimming. You can fluff up, fluff up a few times until the shape is achieved. Okay, flip the ears backwards. Okay, come downwards. Hold on to the muzzle and then you trim the lower draw area, the neck area. Okay, make sure that the neck area is uh, trimmed uh, short and uh, neatly uh, so that the face will, will look more 3D. Okay, so that the head will come out better. Okay, you trim the excess, you flip the ear up. Okay. So usually on the opposite side, okay, it's a little bit challenging. Okay, for teacher is also the same. Always check and look. 
and how's the shape? So by using the thinning shears, we will trim off the stains near the mouth and the lips. Up. So we trim off uh, the, the stains on the mouth, on the muzzle. Feeling very ticklish <laughs> when you do that area. They might bite you in some dogs. Okay, so be careful and make sure you are focused when you're trimming this area. Uh, we do not want to hurt the dog. Okay. Mm, we will use the straight shears to make the shape first. Okay. And then later on we will use the thinning shears or the chunkers mm -hmm. okay, to do the finishing. Especially on the side that you are not really comfortable with. <laughs> Okay, mm, usually for this type of dog it is normal for them to move around like this. Okay. So just have more patience. Mm. When you're confident to make the trim, then you do it. It's okay. You know that sometimes when you watch uh, cute uh, dog videos, you always see, oh, how come they are so, uh, so well behaved and all that. In actual fact, uh, <laughs> most of the unwanted parts are trimmed away too. Okay, <laughs> Mm. So for this area, we trim the the angle. Okay, for the face. Because we want a round shape. Angulation is very important. So if you have the curved chunkers, uh, you be able to make the lines are uh, easier and faster. And you use the small curved scissors to do some finishing. Now it's the chunkers. You always interchange the the shears. Okay. So we do the 
finishing. Okay. Can also use the thinning shears. Okay, if you do not have the junkers, it will just uh maybe take a little longer time. If you use the thinning shears. So the shape is already there, it's just that the fur is a little bit messy. So we use the straight shears uh, to make it uh, nicer, the lines nicer. Using the thinning shears, so we try to round round this area. Mm. So dogs, they do have their emotions. <laughs> do, they do have uh, bad moods. But as groomer, we should always keep calm. Okay, so that they, they will feel the same emotion as you. So always check, okay, you can look from afar and check. Okay, if you see the fur that is sticking out, you can use the straight shears to trim it away. At this point, we are not uh, trimming the length, we are just uh, doing the finishing. Okay, just trim out the unwanted hair. Okay. Okay. Okay, KFC. Stay. <laughs> Stay. KFC, no KFC for you. Stay. Huh? Good boy. No, no yet. Stay. I'm going to come here. Oh, it's okay. Oh, hey, what do you want? You want to come here? 
So if you have any questions, you can ask us. And uh, we will try to help you. So we also have our online one-to-one -one classes for those who are interested. You can send us an email. So our online classes will be consist of a live demo like this, okay. And uh, after that, uh, teacher will also need to see how you groom, okay. So you will need to get yourself a model dog and groom live in front of us. And if uh, we will give you any pointers or. Uh, for you during the session so if you are interested you can uh, drop us an email so at the moment uh, we'll be doing uh, more on the the breed that is uh, poodles okay <laughs> <laughs> no, it's nothing. It's just the dog uh, have a sudden move. So always be focused. Well, you groom those are sensitive areas. So we will try to speed up because uh, actually KFC has been waiting quite some time so uh, he's a bit uh, irritated. <laughs> he wants to go home. Okay, so now we Mm. 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 So right now we have uh, done the shape that we want But this is the best that we could do Because of uh, KFC has been uh, moving quite a bit today So right now we will trim the ears Okay, to match with the look so we will check so teacher will always use the small curve scissors to right. trim the ears okay we trim the line that we want always mm -hmm. check where the ear ends okay and then you trim Right. <laughs> so always look down, okay? Look at the bottom so that you can get a nicer line. Mm. Mm. So it's always uh, based on the condition of the fur and the That's ears it. of the model dog. Mm. Okay, so for in this case, uh, teacher will use the chunkers to trim the length. Okay, after using the cuff scissors. So we will do a round shape. Mm. 
Then we we'll do the other side. Okay. Let's see. Last year. Make the length and the shape using the curve scissors. And then we use the chunkers for a more natural look. Okay. So make sure the ears are balanced. Okay, we double check on the face. Okay, whether you're satisfied with the look. You all can see properly. Okay, we're trying our best <laughs> to get the best uh the best shot. Hey, hey. <laughs> the finishing touches. Yeah, always have a good grip on the muzzle when you're trimming the lip area because uh, a sudden move from the dog will be injury will cause injuries. Okay. Ah, KFC is happy. He knows it's finishing soon. <laughs> So this is the finishing touches so if you have any questions you can drop in the comment box and we will try our best to answer all of you okay if you are you want to inquire about our online one-to-one -one class uh, do send us an email about it okay so i think it's time to say goodbye and we will we will put up the finishing look on our Instagram and Facebook page. So any anything? Lao Sir? So we try to seal the T Cute dog. <laughs> yeah, it's cute but I don't know what to do. KFC is always moving and well. Okay,我多那边，嗯，我就是在try多跟他剪，因为他耳朵本来就短嘛，嗯嗯，说剪短，他会看起来比较整齐，也比较呃，就是比较match他的头啦。嗯，to to match the the head, the ear should be uh short. Okay, so that he looks cute. Okay. How cute he is. We are done today. <laughs> so do remember to subscribe so and click the notification bell. Hopefully you guys enjoy this <laughs> live demo. Uh, we will be doing more live. Okay, because uh 
we are getting busier by the day and <laughs> so so this is the finished look for KFC KFC why today <laughs> so KFC will is getting ready for Chinese New Year. <laughs> Yay! So KFC and Lasse say bye bye lo. Bye bye. KFC. KFC. Here, here, KFC. KFC. Bye. <laughs> Bye, everyone.